Precision Connections Auto.com where the right connections are the only connections. So I have a Foxwell. What is the model number on this? I think it's the NT630. And what this is, is as you can see, is an ABS airbag reset tool. And I figure why not add this to my arsenal tools? Because, you know, you never know, you never know. I always come across something while I'm working on a car. And if I can help a customer out at the same time as doing my installations, then that's more power to me and more power to PrecisionConnectionsAuto.com. All right, so let's just go into the tool. I actually have a car that I'm hooking it up to. I got the OBD2 port down. So this car has an airbag problem. And I'm going to help this customer out. So first thing first, I'm going to uh, let me select. Oh, it's not touch screen. Sorry about that, guys. I just got this tool, so I'm, this is the first time I'm using it. So I was, I was assuming that it was a touch screen, but it's not, as you can see. Which is good to let you guys know, it's not touch screen. So um, hit Asian, because it's an Asian vehicle. And let's just go down to Nissan, hit that. All right, wait for it to load up. Should I do an automatic selection? All right, let me just do it. Oh, I guess I got to... All right, let me try it without the key on. See what happens. Communicating with vehicle. So this is with the key off. So I'm trying to figure out if it could communicate with the key off. I guess not. I'll just wait maybe two seconds. See if it picks anything up. I know my X tool, it could communicate. Yeah, it failed. All right, so let's try it with the vehicle on. So it's asking me to manually insert the VIN, and I'm not gonna do that. Let me cut this AC off so that I don't get any background noise. All right, let me go back. I guess the F3 is back. So you're gonna hit the automatic selection, hit enter. He's in ignition mode and it has the VIN. All right, so let's finish that up. Yes. Okay. Well, I guess I have to let it decode. Okay, failed. All right, so let's go back. Maybe I did something wrong. So let me just select. system section Let's see what happens there auto scan or maybe I should do all right let's just do an auto scan all right so we got the ABS is detecting I don't know what's doing okay ABS pass no fault that which is good Airbag scanning 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 Let's See what we get Because I watched a lot of okay, so we got three faults Yeah, like I was about to say I watch a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people are saying that this tool doesn't work So I'm getting like a lot of mixed reviews, but I decided to purchase the tool anyway Because I had the seller had a good return policy So I'm testing the tool out if I like it. I'll keep it if it doesn't work like what the people in on the YouTube is saying or on the forums I'll just return it so that's why I just wanted to jump into this video real quick to see if it works or not all right so let's just see the faults I actually know what's wrong with it but I want to see if this tool is able to tell me exactly what's wrong with it so before I go into it this car has airbag I'm doing a couple of airbag jobs lately so um we have a side impact so we're gonna have a crash detection and we should also have both airbags because I have the airbags actually in the back seat so if it shows me that then I know that this tool is a keeper all right so we have ECU information let me see what that means 
Okay, so that's discriminated number doesn't I don't know what that means. F twelve A I don't F twenty one A I don't know what that means. So let me go back. So let me go into read codes. Communicating with the vehicle, please wait. All right, so we have we have collision side side collision detected, which is true. We have side curtain module open, which is true because I have it in the back seat. Side module left open, which is the seat airbag, the driver's seat airbag. So this is all correct and these are the only issues that this car has so let's see if we could um reset this okay let me see okay let's just save that press any key to continue let's go back all right let me just go to live data passenger airbag all right, enter. Status on. Okay. I don't know why it's asking me to pause or continue. Save. Five, seven, yeah. I don't know what it's doing, but. Like I said, I didn't even go through the manual or anything. I just, once I got it, I just started to film. So I don't know exactly what it's doing. I guess we'll figure this out together. That's why we have the comment section. So if you guys know anything about this particular tools, any special features, just let me know in the comment section. The comment section. All right. So I don't know what it's saving. It's saving a lot of stuff. A lot of items. I don't know if I should go on with the saving or just stop it. I'm I'm just gonna stop it. Because I don't know what it's saving and why it's saving it. So I'll let it go up to about 230. And I'll stop it. If there is even 230 items in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop it. I can't wait all. Alright, so I'm gonna stop that. I'm not gonna save, I'm just gonna go back. So let's go to all signals. Let's hit enter. Okay, status on. It's not really giving me a lot of information. What's this in custom list? Status of view data. Let me see if I can view data. Okay. So it's not really giving me any information. Just it's just telling me status on. So I don't know what that means. I probably have to consult the manual to figure out what that means. So let's now erase the code. See if that um all right, it's asking me if the ignition is on. Yes. All right, so let's go back. So if this actually erased, I should just get the airbag codes and not the accident code. So let me just see if, so I'm going to get the, all right, let me see if I can go back. I think the unit free froze on me.
Yeah, I think the unit froze on it. Yeah. Let me just see if it... Alright, so the codes came back. So I don't think this unit can actually reset crash data. You probably have to go inside the um, the actual module to erase that. Um, I'll probably do a video doing that because I, I have the tools to do that. So I just wanted to bust out a video real quick showing you guys how this Foxwell tool really works because I the, from the videos that I saw online on YouTube I'm getting mixed signals like I'm just getting good reviews with no demonstration a partial demonstration video this tool cannot reset crash data and on um, what crash data is is if you're ever in an accident and a car is physically hit there's something called a hard store code which remains in the computer's permanent memory now a tool like this won't be able to erase that permanent memory because the dealer needs that to determine if the crash is related to a malfunction of the vehicle or worst case situation if you're ever in a fatal accident they're going to need to rely on the information that's stored in the factory computer to determine the speed, braking, if you had your seat belt on, acceleration, elevation, vehicle pressure. It's like the black box of a car. So they don't want regular scan tools to be able to erase that data. So that's a hard code. A hard code. If you go to the dealer, they're going to actually remove that airbag control module and sell you a brand new one they're not going to repair it but you can repair it you can reset the whole module by changing or reflashing the ecu or the memory eprom but um not from the dealer most likely the dealer is going to sell you a brand new unit i'm planning to keep this because I never owned an airbag reset tool. I always work carefully. So I always disconnect the battery before I work. Or in certain situations, I just never turn the ignition on. If I have to remove a panel or remove the old radio before putting in a new radio. But um, I'm getting a lot of fleets of cars. So it's better to just be more safe than sorry. So I guess this is something that, you know, it's like insurance for me. So I have to have this. So that's it, folks. I'm going to wrap the video up. If you have anything that you want to add to this video, leave it in the comment section. If you have any questions, because I'm going to keep the tool. So if you have any questions or any concerns about something that I, I left out or I should have covered, I can always jump back and do another video. So if you're in the market for this and this video didn't help you steer you into a direction of buying it or not buying it, just leave a comment in the comment section like, hey, Precision, I need you to do a video with this, that, and the third. And I'll do the video and help you to determine if you should buy this tool or not. Again, this tool does not do crash data, but it will tell you exactly what's wrong with the vehicle. It's not gonna, sp it's gonna spit out codes, as you can see, as well as define the codes, which is good. So I'd rather have a tool that defines the code with the code opposed to just giving me codes and have to run to Google to define the codes. So um that's it guys. Subscribe to the channel. Go to the website precisionconnectionsauto.com and um just be a part of the movement.